Like many IoT devices, Chromecast media players will accept commands from any device on the same local area network. We'll show you how to use a Python script called Cast All the Things to hijack and play anything you want on a Chromecast device on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Internet of Things devices are often insecure because they'll accept commands from anybody on the same network. This has been shown off by our previous tutorial on Sonos, but I wanted to show another example of what you can do with an Internet of Things device that's designed to play media instead. In this case, we're going to be taking over a Chromecast device, and the way we'll be doing it is with a library called cat or cast all the things. Now this is a Python program that allows us to programmically interface with the Chromecast, sending commands and basically being able to react faster than somebody could using the normal interface. We can do things like script something on a uh, device where we want to have a repeated command, like maybe going to the same video over and over. We can play any video we want either from our local computer or from a remote server like YouTube or another video site. And we can even insert our own custom subtitles to put in messages that otherwise somebody might not be able to see. If you want to send someone a message undercover, or if you want to interact with someone's device without them knowing, this script is an excellent way of being able to flexibly interact with any Chromecast on a network without even knowing where it is to begin with. Now, because this includes a scanning capability, simply typing cat scan is all you need in order to locate every Chromecast device on a network you happen to find yourself on. Now, it's worth pointing out, of course, that you need to own the device you're interacting with because this will interact with it in quite an interrupting and visible way. So if you're experimenting with this in public, it'll be pretty obvious pretty quickly that somebody is messing with the device. That being said, when you do have a device to experiment with, connect it to your internet, either via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and then join the network yourself and download Python. Once you have that, it's relatively simple to install cat as it's a simple pip uh, request, which is the package manager for Python. Once you have a computer, Python, and your device connected, then we're ready to begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. Once you do that, then we can cast anything, and instead of digging around and trying to find a media file, we should be able to just cast the website without needing to do any sort of uh, digging around and specifying, oh, uh, this small video that's playing in the corner, maybe even ad uh, perhaps an advertisement, is something that uh, we want to actually play. So with that, we can now cast everything from a custom designed website to the screen, all the way to a video file on our computer or on a remote server on any of the supported platforms that YouTube DL library supports playing through a Chromecast device. While we've demonstrated how it's possible to target a Chromecast device on your local network, this technique can also scale to the greater internet. Recently, it was discovered by a hacker named Hacker Giraffe that a variety of Chromecast devices was, were actually being port forwarded directly to the internet. This means they were directly exposed to Shodan, which indexed them, and then provided a platform to send a message to everybody who had exposed these Chromecast devices, advising them to subscribe to PewDiePie. Now, this was probably very surprising and possibly upsetting to a variety of people who weren't expecting this message to suddenly play on their Chromecast device. But it's another reminder that IoT devices should never be connected to the internet at large, and should only be connected to networks where you know everybody who's going to be connected to it. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on the show, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.